always live right by the fire because this is like the main area and the food and plus having a dog this is where like the rats and the foxes and everything else come especially the rats so the rats my dog's the best rat exterminator ever being a hermit in Wales when I first came up to Belston I just came up to talk to people that I knew and then we'd go back and be a hermit in Wales again. I first came to Belston uh, three and a half years ago and I've been coming and going ever since. I guess you could say that's a toilet. Which one? That tree over there. Pick one and that can be your toilet. And we've got our hatch and our one room. Beautiful room. It's a bed. Me and Daniel both stay here, so we need to get another mattress, the single one. It's fairly uncomfortable. Our electricity supply of candles over there. Usually the wardrobe is the floor, but I kind of get pissed off with mess, so I had to tidy it all up, stick it back in the bags. I've not got my PlayStation and TV, which you miss after a while. It's, it's sometimes quite nice to numb your brain with computers. Here everything happens all right. I do all the office stuff for here and occasionally with certain f people I know, like I do like massage and healing and Reiki and all sorts. I lived in a house till I was about 16. Then a couple of odd bed sets every now and then when I came back to tar, tar land. But the rest of the time it's been living in nature. I've been living in camps most of my life. What's wrong is wrong. And to not fight it, I couldn't live with myself if I didn't fight for what I believe in. I'm a very fiery, passionate man, and I just love, I love the earth. And it's our duty, if we don't fight for it, no one will. I didn't build it then, it was built by a Swedish friend who lived here a couple of years ago. How are you finding it? Well, I like it, I've made uh, quite a few adjustments. If you look behind you at the window, I wanted to make uh, grills for the window, but I didn't want to feel like I was being locked in prison, so I tried to make them a bit artistic looking. The spider is a, a red bat, the most poisonous spider in Australia. <laughs> this is very special, I made this. The blanket on it. It's got a line of wool that's actually in my hair. It was freezing cold when I first came. I mean, it was like, it's always cold, it's always wet. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, I first came here a couple of years ago with friends and things, just saw it all, realised what it was all about. First came to live here a couple of months ago. I hated school. Uh, spent most of the years during and after school partying, free parties at Blackford Quarry and whatnot, taking too many drugs for my own health. You know, we, we can wake up in the morning and go, right, I know what I need to do, I can do this. And at the end of the day, when you sit down, you can feel, ah, I've actually done something today, rather mm. than 
sitting in the meadows and getting pissed on cider, you know what I mean? It's just yeah. gives you a sense of, you know, sense of self, I guess, like a sense yeah. that you're doing something for the world. Here, you can build a house and it's like, you, you'll appreciate it every single time you go into it. And like when, if they do come and try and take us out and you built a defense and we managed to stop them. I mean, can you imagine the sense of how well we've done and how much, it, you know, how much that would please you? And that'll stay with you the rest of your life every time you think back. We live beautifully because we have the industrial estate right next to us. Bilston is the king of Skipland. Organic food, milk, bread, post cheese, bacon, everything. I was in the skip and they all came out after work and sometimes if you're on the skip and they see you, they'll just push it down and call the police. But I stood, I stood my head up and the first person I saw was my auntie and she was on the phone to my mum and the rest of my family saying, ah, uh, he's back. <laughs> so they found out via me doing the skips that I was back in town. <laughs> 